Hey guys, Jordy here, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video is going to be focused on the bar, which is an LMG only support class. Uh, just because I've been getting bored during streams, I've decided that I would try and use this weapon, just because I feel like it's a bit underused in public matches quite a bit, uh, at least on console, PlayStation, I don't see it that often. You normally see an MMG or the FG-42 or an, like a Lewis gun or a Bren, you never rarely see the bar, so I thought I'd uh, try and make a video on it, see if it was uh, any good, see if people think it's any good, and basically just see people's general opinion. When I was using this, I did tend to notice that it was quite an LMG that you do have to be aggressive with, because it has that high rate of fire which helps obviously with those up close and mid-range gunfights. It doesn't really have the, the easily controllable recoil and bullets for mid to long range gunfight, so it kind of lets you down in that aspect. But in terms of, uh, yeah, those close range and those 1v1s, it, it's probably up there with one, maybe one of the best weapons in the game, at least for those 1v1s, maybe 1v2s, anything outside of that, you're going to struggle unless you're like extremely accurate. I think I have a clip coming up somewhere on Underground, I think it's further in the video where like I kill like four people in one mag and just miss the fifth because I was, you know, but to get those type of kills, you have to either get like a spray down like this clip here or... You just have to be extremely accurate. Range, so. But yeah, I'd say the pros of this weapon would be obviously the rate of fire, the incredible time to kill that it can have up close, and just its capability in more of your one gunfights. I would say they're, they're probably its most notable pros. Uh, for cons, I would say the re uh, the recoil, at least the side to side, the vertical is quite alright to control. Uh, horizontally, it can be a struggle sometimes, especially with the uh, random recoil. Yeah, so I would say that's probably most likely one of the cons, or if probably one of the worst cons is the recoil, horizontally at least. Another con would be the 20 bullet magazine, uh, along with the kind of, I would say, medium to long reload it has compared to other LMGs like the FG-42 for example. So that's why I would say I recommend the quick reload specialization uh, to run on this, just so you, um, you know, mitigate one of your cons the best you can with the quick reload so it just helps you have more bullets basically obviously because you don't have many to begin with with a 20 in the mag so you kind of need to reload constantly so the quick reload will help with that so obviously the reload's another con um another con i would say at least for this can sometimes be the hip fire it is quite inconsistent you can run hip fire specs with it but it, i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend that obviously because on the other side of the tree is custom stock which is incredibly good, obviously, because you will be strafing a lot with this, and you kind of need to be strafing a lot, so I wouldn't recommend the hit fire specs at all. Now, would I recommend using the bar instead of the FG? If you're more, it depends on how aggressive you are. If you're maybe like a, a main medic player coming to play support because either you're bored or you just want to change your gameplay or you just want something fresh, I would probably recommend the bar. You'll probably find it similar to the ZK in terms of recoil, it's just for 10 less bullets, but as you put more damage over more damage over range, and obviously you have infinite ammo, you do lose your heals though. Um, if you're an assault player coming to the bar, uh, I, I definitely recommend trying to use it for a couple of games, but other than that, there's just maybe the FG is just a better option uh, in terms of that, just long range and close and mid range as well, but... I'd say the bar is definitely worth a try to see if you like it or not. Um, you also do have the slow fire rate thing, so you can either do full auto, which is 720 rounds per minute, or you do have, I think, the slow fire rate, which is 540, which is also a really good pro to the weapon. Uh, so if you get those mid-long range and you're struggling with a high fire rate, definitely switch uh, the fire rate to 540 rounds per minute, which is a slow fire rate. You do that by holding triangle, at least on PlayStation. I think it's Y on Xbox as well. Uh, but that's 100% definitely another pro. Uh, in terms of specializations, I would recommend... Uh, in the video, I've got quick aim on. That was because I was playing a, a competitive scrim. But at least for public matches, I would recommend quick reload, ported barrel, custom stock, and also light and stock. Uh, I reckon that's probably the best spec tree, really. If you don't prefer light and stock, then obviously barrel bedding is the way to go, but 
I'd 100% recommend Light and Stock. It is probably the best perk in the game, combined with Custom Stock as well. But if you have any questions or you want to leave feedback on the weapon after you've tried it, let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah, if you have any other questions about specs or if any of the clips, hopefully which you enjoyed while running in the background with some some calm music. <laughs> yeah, I just thought I'd test it out. But let me know what you think of the music. If you want more, if you want that to stay. Yeah, but yeah, any questions in the comments? Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video or stream. Peace.